Hi, guys. Let's start the briefing for this stage. The profile is special, with one major difficulty that should decide between the climbers. The scenario looks to be simple, and everything should be settled on the final climb. We must defend our position as leader of the general classification. It's not going to be easy. We don't have much of a lead. However, we can join the fight for the stage win. Have a good day, guys. Come on, we're aiming for victory. Hello and welcome to all. With a finishing line that lies within the Megève Altiport, it's obviously the climbers who are favourites today. However, will the winner come from the early breakaway? Or will he emerge victorious from battle between the favourites for the general classification? No one can say for sure at the start of the stage. Watch out, guys. It could be a fast start today. The first 20 kilometers are downhill, so any breakaway riders could quickly build up a lead. Have a good stage. The mountains don't scare him. He's already trying to escape. Acceleration at the head of the peloton. That's good enough, lads. There's no way we can lose the green jersey today. It's good. The others are fed up because you're not making enough effort. They'll no doubt try and drop you. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax.
The lead riders are already at the foot of the Côte de Chevenol, the first classified climb of the stage. He's a rider who can put in a long day's ride. He has no real strengths or weaknesses, except the mountains. Apart from the final ascent, all of today's King of the Mountains climbs are second category. So, on each one, there will be two points and one point to be gleaned for the polka dot jersey classification. A good ruler with not too bad a punch. He should still try to get away before the finish because he's not so fast in a sprint. Good puncher, the Breton Cyril Gauthier is a rider with an attacking temperament. from the summit. Watch your opponents. Keep an eye on him. He's the best climber in the breakaway. should perhaps be waiting for the group behind. It will be easier if there are several of you. Here's the positions over the last climb. Less visible these past few seasons due to numerous injuries, Tony Galopin nevertheless remains a puncher to keep a close eye on. He's a good climber. Triple cyclocross world champion, the Belgian Wout van Aert is also able to excel anywhere on the road. We've already seen him win individual time trials, as well as stages that finish in a mass sprint. Not to mention his good performances in the Flanders Classics. We can say that Nance Peter is a specialist in successful breakaways. Winner of a stage on his first participation in the Tour of Italy after a long breakaway, he followed it up the next year with a stage win on the Tour de France, again after a breakaway, and on his first participation. He's an excellent climber puncher, capable of getting away on each acceleration. current holder of the World Hour record, it's not surprising to see that Victor Campanat's list of achievements is almost exclusively made up of individual time trials. His best chance of victory is to try a breakaway from far out.
He's after the points classification. He's able to come up trumps on the flat, on short climbs or on mountain passes. But if he's one of two riders at the finish, it's best not to count on him. A mountain bike specialist, Alexis Vuillermoz made a successful switch to the road as evidenced by his stage win in Mur de Bretagne on the 2015 Tour de France. He can ride all day long on the flat. It would be hard to say that he's in his element on short climbs or sprints. Strong ruler, good climber, Ion Izagiri has an all-round profile that regularly gets him into the top ten or even onto the podium in week-long stage races. Both puncher and ruler, he can rely on his pace if he reaches the finish in a small group. A good ruler, he doesn't really have a strong point that would scare opponents. Here's a pure ruler. Make sure you don't leave him alone up front. It would be difficult to catch him and it's better for him to finish on his own. Placing his teammates early on at the head of the peloton. There's no doubt that he's ticked this stage in his objectives. His teammates are managing the time gap to allow you no more of a lead. Probably with their eye on the overall standings. Constantly try to shelter from the wind so as not to consume energy. This is what allows a rider to edge clear at the end of the race. He's a teammate without ambitions for the overall standings. downhill, the aerodynamic position is useful to increase speed without expending energy. <laughs> Guys, don't forget to protect our leader. Communication is important. That's why we have Team Com. He's a very good climber, but he prefers to ride at a steady pace. Acceleration is not really his forte. Just like his skills going downhill, which are pretty poor. He's a pure climber, able to follow the very best when he's in shape. Here we go! 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 Here we go!
continue. Continuez comme ça. Given that there's not much happening, lads, I think that I could follow you on a bike. At least now that there's some downhill. Bravo, les gars! Continuez comme ça! Lâchez rien! Allez! Allez, les gars! Here we go! Here we go! Now the Col de Jean Bas stands before the riders. Four kilometers of climbing with an average slope of 4.3 percent. There will be two points and one point to be gleaned for the polka dot jersey classification. You are two kilometers from the summit. Watch your opponents.
The feed zone is nearing for the men of the front. The guys with you are upping the tempo. They're going to try to manage the time gap. They're riding hard behind. This isn't the moment to relax. You didn't make any friends today. Your attitude will encourage your opponents to attack. Here's the last difficulty before the final ascent. The Côte de Marigné. Once again, there are two points and one point up for grabs in the mountains classification.
You are two kilometers from the summit. Watch your opponents. You're not doing your share of the work, and so the others no longer want to ride. Anyway, we're into the final kilometers. We can forget any ideas of cooperation. His teammates have a handle on things for the overall standings. It will be difficult to increase the gap. The end of the stage is not far off. Stay awake. It will soon start to move in the peloton. His team is setting the pace behind. He's no doubt got his eye on this stage. You'll have to speed up in front. would like you to take more relays. It's up to you. We're near the end, but it's every man for himself. Sprinter in the breakaway. You should manage to win the intermediate sprint. You're coming up to the intermediate sprint. Keep your eyes open. You've won the intermediate sprint. Well done. You increase your lead a little bit more in the points classification. It is important to relay a minimum during a breakaway so that everyone agrees to cooperate. But be careful not to do too much in order to save some strength for the finish.
And we're off. The lead group is on to the final climb. The road leading to the Altiport is not unduly steep. You'll have to wait for the passage through Mejev and the final seven kilometers to find sections where the average gradient rises above 8%. been dropped. You can't count on him any longer.
you've got one minute 30 lead on the group with the favorites. Fifteen kilometers from the finish for the group at the front. The favorites are one minute behind your group. Thirty seconds ahead of the favorites group. The front of the race is now passing through Majel. That leaves a little under eight kilometers to race. There's an attack, stay alert. Acceleration at the front of the peloton. No falling asleep. Still five kilometers of climbing for the first rider. The peloton is riding hard. Stay well placed. It is not always a good idea to be too many in a breakaway, as the others will not necessarily want to cooperate with us. At 
three kilometers from the finish, there are still several potential stage winners. Less than two kilometers from the finish. Final kilometer for the men at the front. He succeeded in avoiding all the pitfalls to win today. Here is the winner of the Marzine Le Porte du Soleil, Mejev Stage. Van Congratulations to him. He really was the strongest. He fully deserves this prestigious victory. He will climb onto the podium to receive his jersey and a kiss from the hostesses. Here's the yellow jersey of this Tour de France. It's It's a moment that he should not forget and which marks his career. Come on, let's applaud him once more. He will climb onto the podium to receive his jersey and a kiss from the hostesses. Here's the green jersey of this Tour de France. Walt Van Aert. Let's hope for his sake that things go as well in the future. But for now, he can relish the moment. He's amongst the leading riders this year. Here's the polka dot jersey of this Tour de France. Wout van Aert. It's a moment that he should not forget and which marks his career. Come on, let's applaud him once more. He's in sparkling form, and you can clap him loudly. Here's the white jersey of this Tour de France. Tadej Pogacar! He will be able to hang this jersey in his trophy run. Let's hope for him that he can add more. Well done, lads. Congratulations to you.
We were the pre-race favourites, and you lived up to the role with brio. Well done for this win. We retain the yellow jersey. It's a perfect day.